Hi, my name is Raymond. Um, in a large number of wood workshops, the table saw is the center of it. And in this video, we're going to explain the most important parts, how to work safely with it, and how to use the control panel. Uh, our goal is not to make you an expert, but to get you familiar with the machine. In other following videos, we show you how to sh cut sheet materials and solid wood. Let's take a closer look at it. In general, you can saw the material on three ways. The first one is using this it's a saw table. You put the material on the table and then you start sawing. Another way is to use the saw table in combination with the shortcut fence. This is the shortcut fence. And then you work it. And then you can start cutting the material on this. And the third way is to use the rib fence or the parallel fence. And then you move the material by using the support of the rib fence. The table saw can be a very dangerous machine. Uh, it has several safety parts, but hopefully your brain will be the best one. Try to think logic. The logical thing is that you can't cut any fingers off when they are no, uh, near a blade. And therefore, it's not logical to cut small pieces out of small pieces of wood. As you see, my hands are quite near to the blade. Take longer pieces for that. And it feels already much safer. As you see, my hands are way further away. Another way to keep my hands away is by using the push sticks. The push stick is the extension of my hand. You see, I'm not coming with my hand near the blade. The second rule of thumb is that you always operate the machine on the side of the control panel. Don't stand or wait here in this marked area and work behind the machine. Other protective parts are the top guard, which shields or covers the top of the saw blade, and the riving knife that covers the back of the saw blade and reduces the chance of kickback. The rib fence is adjustable. You can move it horizontal, back and forth, but also put it flat or up. You put it flat when you need cutting small pieces of wood, so you still can use the push stick, and you put it up when you need support in the height. like this. You can control the machine with the control panel. The main buttons are on and off. In case of danger, you use the emergency button. When you press it, the machine will stop immediately. And with the green buttons, you can adjust the size, for instance, between the saw blade and the rib fence. For example, how to do it, you select the rib fence, press the numbers you want, and then confirm with start button. The same thing you can do also with the blade height and the blade tilt. Looking back, we mentioned the main and safety parts, how to adjust the rib fence and how to control the control panel. In other following videos, we explain to you how to cut sheet materials and solid wood. Cheers.